Ever since its introduction in 2008, the Aprilia RSV4 is the only superbike that has remained more or less unchanged. Yes, it had a few styling changes and received a capacity bump. But at its core, it is still the same motorcycle as the one that came out 14 years ago. And still, each year the RSV4 emerges as the winner or close runner-up in many of the superbike shootouts around the world. After receiving the capacity increase in 2019, which was a major engine update in 11 years, the RSV4 is due to receive another major update soon, variable valve timing. With the implementation of stricter emission regulations under Euro 5, variable valve timing has become an even more important factor in motorcycle engine design. The high-performance engines requires a significant valve overlap at higher revs to function effectively. But the same amount of overlap can lead to increased emission at lower revs due to the unburned fuel vapor entering to the exhaust. The variable valve timing addresses this issue by adjusting the timing of inlet valves, allowing for later opening at low RPMs for reduced emissions and improved torque and efficiency and earlier opening at high RPMs for necessary valve overlap to achieve high power output. Several motorcycle manufacturers have implemented the variable valve timing technology in their models. Piaggio is also working on its own version for the upcoming Aprilia RSV4. This new system will be similar to Suzuki's BBT system, which is entirely mechanical without electronic or hydraulic components. Piaggio's design is said to be more cost-effective and has advantages over Suzuki's version. For reference, first, let's see how Suzuki's system works. The Suzuki's BVT system involves the use of channels on cam sprocket that interact with matching channels on the disc mounted on the intake cam shaft. These two channels don't exactly line up, as the channel on the sprocket are machined at a different angle. Each channel contains a single metallic ball bearing. When the RPM rises due to the centrifugal force, the ball bearings will start to move outward. The ball bearings will force the sprocket and the controlling plate to rotate in relation to each other since the channels on the sprocket is cut at a different angle. This changes the angle of the intake cam shaft as the RPM rises. This advances timing. Piaggio's system also uses ball bearing and centrifugal force to change the timing, but it is more cost-effective and easier to modify. The design involves the use of three ball bearings instead of Suzuki's 12. Additionally, it minimizes friction. The Piaggio's variable valve timing system operates by utilizing the radial channels on the inlet cam sprocket that aligns with the dry plate attached to the cam shaft. The angle of these channels is slightly different from each other. This allows the ball bearing to move outwards and change the cam timing. The design requires less complex machining and results in less friction due to the use of only three ball bearings. Furthermore, the design consists of a thin disc that sits between the cam sprocket and cam shaft mounted drive plate, with slots for ball bearings and three W shaped springs that fit into the drive plate. The Piaggio system uses the camshaft's rotation to move the ball bearings outwards, changing the angle of the camshaft in relation to the sprocket. This is enabled by the compression of the three W-shaped springs. When the RPM decreases, these springs act against the centrifugal force and return the cam timing to its original position. The system can be adjusted by altering the characteristics of the spring or the shape of the central discs cut out. This allows for the modification of the system's behavior and the revs at which it becomes active, unlike Suzuki's system, which is near impossible to modify. The current Aprilia RSV4 1100 factory is already a formidable machine. With 214 horsepower on tap, its 1077cc V4 is one of the most powerful engines out there. And with the introduction of the BVT technology, the RSV4 is definitely going to give its main competitor, the Ducati Panigale V4, a run for its money. What do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Right safe.